I was right there in town. We were boys were playing up and down the streets there before the water started coming down the streets there. And when it did set, come, we still waited up, up to our knees up the water playing up and down the streets there in Marshall. Mm. And uh, finally, Delmer, he went down toward the courthouse playing some boys down there. And I went back up to where Dad and Aunt Dalty was, and we started carrying stuff out of the restaurant upstairs, you know. Mm -hmm. And finally it got too high, and we got went back over on the bank behind the restaurant. There was a little kitchen attached on to the big building, you know, mm -hmm. for the restaurant. And we throw a heavy plank from the bank over on top of the restaurant, top of it. We'd go across this big heavy plank on top of the, the kitchen and end of the window upstairs, the mm -hmm. restaurant. So uh, the water had got pretty high there, and uh, Dad and Aunt Alfie was standing on top of this little rest kitchen, and he asked me to go in the window there and get her suitcase, and he was wanted me to take her up to Grandma and Grandpa's. Mm -hmm. And uh, while I was in there getting a suitcase, all at once he hollered for me to come and come running. And when I got to the window, the uh, building had already left the uh -huh. building, and they were standing on top of it. And I jumped out the window on top of the kitchen, floating down. Mm -hmm. And uh, there used to be a lot of lumber stacks above the restaurant up there, along the side of the bank there, and they, the water had knocked them off, let them go, and they were what come down and hit the kitchen, knocked it loose. Mm -hmm. So I jumped on top of the kitchen, on top of the lumber stack, caught a hold of a limb, and pulled myself out. Good and I just got on the bank, turned around in time to look over, and see just as they started to jump off the kitchen, the kitchen turned over and caught them and took them under. And that's the last time I ever seen of them. I know I, uh, the old liver stable was just below the restaurant there, and that's where they washed under this old liver stable. And it is falling down, and I run out on top of this old liver stable there, thinking maybe I could save them, do something. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the fellas there run out, and grabbed me, and brought me back. Then mm -hmm. I started off down around the mountainside there to try to find Delmer. Mm -hmm. I found him down near the courthouse. I told him what happened. And then uh, Delmer and I started around the mountainside up the railroad tracks towards Grandma and Grandpa's to tell them what happened. We got up the mouth of Ivy there. There were a whole bunch of them standing there watching the flood water. And uh, there at the mouth of Ivy. And uh, we told them what happened. To them. And so. They had uh, somebody to take us on back over to Grandpa and Grandma's, and I know Grandpa and Uncle Frank and Uncle George, they went into Marshall. Now, this is this Grandma, this is Grandpa Briggs? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So we, me and Dahmer, stayed all night there and got up early the next morning. And we went back down to the mouth of Ivy, the railroad bridge. It's the only bridge that was left mm -hmm. up down at Frank Rock River there. And we crossed that one on the other side and back down on the other side of the river to where Mother lived. Mm -hmm. And we found her up at the neighbors, the parishes mm -hmm. above the house. See, our house is underwater. Everything was soaking wet. See. And uh, we told her what happened. We walked down, the water had uh, receded, had gone down. At that time, we walked down and where we looked across the river. Mm -hmm. And see, they had a great big board over there. That was on a Monday morning. And a uh, big blackboard over there. And we stood there and watched them for a long time. And after a little while, they wrote great big letters on chalk on this board. It says, Woman Found. And we waited about a half an hour later, they marked put up there on this big board that man found. Well, we knew that was Dad and ain't out mm. we'll tell about so, you, brother. So we got the family together, and uh, there were some 
One lived up the road just a little ways there, I don't remember their name, and then he had a horse and buggy, and he put mother and the small children in this buggy. And we started round about way back through the country there, and we took them over pretty close to the railroad bridge which crossed the river there at Ivy. And we got out and walked on across the bridge and went over to Grandma and Grandpa. Mm -hmm. And we spent the night there. We stayed there until the funeral was over.